Hi everybody, it's Andrew from Launch27 and in this video, I'm going to give a quick overview on how to assign and unassign teams from your bookings. So I'll just get straight to it. The most straightforward way to do this is to just click on a booking like this. Scroll down to the assign team section right here and click assign to. And you will see a list of teams that are available during this time of the booking. Um, I believe this was around 10 a.m. on September 4th. And based on the availability you set up, uh, the schedule for each team, you can set up um, when they're available, what days of the week, what hours. Based on that, and based on whether or not they've already been assigned to another booking, you will see them here in the green section that says available. Also, you'll see if you scroll down, you can see a list of teams that are uh, technically not available at this time, and you'll see reasons why in red. They're just some of them are not working at this time, but uh, you'll see also stuff like they may be assigned to another booking at this time. So here I will assign two teams. If you want, you can uh, you can remove it, just make it one team, but you can assign it to be two teams. So uh, every time you assign a team to Launch27, I mean to a booking in Launch27, you have to tell us how many hours they're going to work or be given credit and what their hourly rate is. And um, the reason why these got populated automatically is because we set up their wage information, their pay information in their team profile already so that anytime you assign them to a booking, at least this part gets populated. Now, for how many hours they work, you can do this. You can use the shortcut where it says set the duration, uh, the teams, uh, meaning how much hours they get credited for to whatever the booking's duration is. So we know the booking is gonna take about two and a half hours. You can click this and then this will automatically get updated here. Um, another cool thing you can do is if you were to click this checkbox that says update the bookings duration based on assigned teams. This means that the more teams you assign, we will start to readjust um, how long the, the bookings actual duration will be. So if I click on this, you'll see what I mean that uh, because we had two teams assigned and the original duration was supposed to be for two and a half hours, it got divided to be one and uh, 1.25 hours for each team. So. Uh, I'll leave that at that and then I will click done. You can see here that how much they, uh, each team is credited for uh, and how much they're going to make. They're going to make 25 bucks each. So and, uh, the other point is now you see that the duration for the booking is set to one hour and 15 minutes or 1.25 hours. So click on save changes. And I will say apply to all bookings. And now you see that not only is this booking um, has these two teams assigned to it, but that next booking that is going to come up after this one is done, which is going to happen on the 18th, that also has the two teams assigned to them as well. Now, another great way to assign teams to bookings is to go to our scheduler here and I am going to switch to the month view and you can see what bookings we have for this month. I see here that the one that's kind of in this uh, striped gray background means that no teams are assigned yet. So if I want, what I'll do is I'll click on the date right here and I can see uh, here that this is our normal view, meaning that if I wanted to, I could drag this over and assign it also to uh, this team right here. And now the color of this booking matches the team that it just got assigned to. So if you click on here, you can see that um, hey, Team Beast is assigned. Uh, what you don't see is how much uh, they're gonna make. So what you can do is click on Assign Teams and this screen is very similar to, to, um, to the previous one that we were just working on that was on um, the, the booking form page. 
uh, to edit this, I could just uncheck this and say, uh, whatever, give him two hours. And now this information here is updated. Um, close that. If I wanted to, I can also unassign this team by just clicking here again, just removing them like that. And that works the same way if you were to work directly from the booking, um, editing the booking itself. You just have to click that red button and they will remove it. Then you save changes. So just like that, now you see that it's uh, unassigned again. So another view we have is uh, we'll help you visualize everybody's schedule when they're free. Are they assigned to any bookings? So we have a vertical view, which lists the teams out in vertical columns. Or we have a horizontal view, which lists them out in uh, horizontal rows like that. And if I want, I can just drag this booking onto whoever I see is available. Uh, so I'll just give it to Iron Man. And the booking shows up like this. It matches Iron Man's color. Uh, the reason why the booking looks so small is because there's not a duration set on it. If you want, you can drag it out to set a real duration. I can drag this out to from 8 a.m. to about 10 a.m. And now you see that it's more readable like that. So uh, that's pretty much it as far as assigning and unassigning teams goes. If you have any more questions, please let us know at support at launchjoin7.com. Thanks.